and a very good afternoon to everyone. How the hell are you? Okay, yeah. Right. Oh shit. Right, this is my new garage camera. There you are. Tiny little thing, lasts for two hours, bloody marvellous. Right, now if you remember in the previous videos, I had a little concern in regarding my sprocket. Or sprocket to some of you. That's the old one. Sorry, I'm going to get shaky cam here. Right, that's the old sprocket. I mean, it's loose as shit. And I was quite concerned about that. So I've gone down, spoke to an expert, spoke to my mechanic, spoke to another expert, got a new one, brand new sprocket, made for this bike, and it's even hard to get on. Come on, you bitch. There you go. Now, that's the maximum amount of play I've got. This is A to B play, forward, back. And obviously I can't tell you that side play because I ain't got the bolt on. Chuck this one on. And here's the new one. It's so much better. It's all to do with the width of this bit here. From there to there. This wall here doesn't make any difference. It's this face. There. Now if we go over to this one, you notice the width of this here can you see it better? Yeah, that's better. It's the width of this is a lot less than the width of that. There's the new one. There's the old one. The width is huge. So the reason why this sprocket was loose because of the width of this shoulder here compared to the width of this shoulder here. Doesn't look much, but it is. So, I'm happy that the output shaft is fine on this bike. You see, if you don't learn, if you don't know, ask. That way you learn. So that's the sprocket saga over. Now just in case you didn't notice, I'm in blue. I'm not in orange. Orange is paint, blue is oil. So I'm in my blue overalls, which means, must have finished all my paint. Well, I have, nearly. Nearly finished it all. I've got one last little bit to do, and I thought I'd uh, show you. Now, you saw me, uh, love it. You saw me spray this front mudguard once I'd had some really good tips off a couple of good friends how to spray it properly. If you don't know, ask. If you ask, people are more than willing to help. So I learned how to spray properly, especially with my gun settings. Took a bit of time, but everything's hunky dory. Just adjust the camera. One went down really well. Uh, there was a couple of bits of crap in it. Obviously, you can see. Just, you know, bits of dust and stuff like that. So it needs a little bit of 1500 just to rub them out. I mean, I'll just give it a tickle with the thousand. Needs a bit of 1500 to rub them out, and then I'll go over it with 2000. And then it's time to polish. So let's do that then, shall we? So I'm just going to have a quick look for uh, the crap marks. Let's see if you can see that one.
See if I can focus in on that for you. Now you can see this one, it's just been a little bit of dirt that landed on the paint or landed on the clear coat while I was spraying it. That major to sort out, the panel's nice and clean dust free. A little bit of 1500, it's a bit used but it'll do. Bit of used 15. Now you could use your finger but it's already uh, nearly there. And this is basically what I'll be doing all over the panel. Getting it nice and smooth. You can still, I hope you can just see, still see it. Yeah, you can. It's just here. So there's just a little bit left. Just a bit of 1500. You can hear it biting now. Get a bit of tissue for you. And if you can see it now, it's completely disappeared. Just a little bit of dirt, takes two seconds to rub out. So I'll be doing the rest of the panel like this. A little bit of 15. And then I'll be going over it again with 2000, just to make it lovely and smooth. So, I've been watching a few videos, trying to learn a thing or two. It doesn't hurt to learn, does it? And uh, what's come up really time and time again is people moaning about videos, which I can't believe. I mean, you take the time, I mean, I could have had this done by now, had I have not set up the camera, etc, etc. So, I've taken time out to make this video. After this, I'll have to go back into the house, edit it, and then upload it to YouTube. which takes time again. And still you get people moaning. Not on my channel, but on other people's channel, you know, big big vloggers or mechanics, that sort of stuff. They moan. Oh, your camera's shit. I can't see it. Um, your video length's too long which is something I'm going to get into. Your video length is too long. I like 10 minutes, do 10 minutes, etc, etc. They moan about your videos when you've taken the time out to make the bloody things. I mean, luckily enough, I haven't got any trolls, not one, because I've only got 20 subscribers or something. I don't know, I don't look. Um, but at the end of the day, you're doing the videos, you're making the videos, you're taking the time out to do it. And you get subscribers, no doubt some of them are quite good, saying your videos are too long, your camera's crap, 
That video is too dark. The audio is not good enough. Now whether they're just trying to help, or whether they're having a moan, for moan's sake, I don't know. All I know is you take the time to uh, make the video, you take time out, because it takes you twice as long. And people moan about it. I certainly wouldn't listen to them. So if I'm going to make a video, I'll make one that I want to make. Yes, I'm doing this because one day it might help someone. I've watched thousands of videos and they've helped me tremendously. Thousands of them. And they help. So I'm just trying to give a little bit back. Those of you that make videos that are long and you're worrying about people saying, Yeah, the video's too long. Bollocks to them. It's your video. If they think it's too long, they can fast forward it. For me, personally, the longer the video, the better. It's entertainment. Now, if you need to learn something in a hurry, I can see why you need short videos. How do you change the brakes on a Suzuki Jeep? You need it instantly. You need that information there and then. Just have a bit of bloody patience. I mean, I'm super slow. I know I'm super slow. But this isn't my job. This is a hobby. I do this for fun. I'm just chasing the uh, chasing the water. Right, I'm going to crack this out, and then I'll come back.